Sunday Mass is offered for the following intentions for the welfare of the parishioners, for the soul of Reginald de Mello, for the soul of Daisy Paul Mesquita, for the soul of Benedicta Mendonca, for the soul of Dominic Bastian Fernandez, for the soul of Helen Disa, offered as Man's Mind Mass, for the soul of Flora Carnero, offered as the first death anniversary Mass, for pluri intentions offered by our parishioners. would like to welcome each of you for this online celebration of the Eucharist on the feast of the baptism of our Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, after the week of Epiphany, we have now come to the feast of the baptism of our Lord. The feast of the baptism marks the end of the Christmas season. It marks the beginning of the ministry of Jesus. Gone are the years of the hidden life of Jesus in Nazareth, along with his mother Mary and Joseph and his family. Today, Jesus steps out into public ministry and how does he begin his public ministry with the baptism in the river Jordan as we celebrate the baptism of Jesus we also celebrate your baptism and my baptism baptism reminds us that we are immersed in the life of God himself God and the community in fact, the sign of the cross at the beginning of the Eucharist reminds us of the sign of the cross that our godparents made on our foreheads on the day you and I were baptized in church. Today, as we relive the promises of our baptism, we thank God that he has chosen us, he has called us, and he has blessed us for a mission in the sacrament of baptism. Let us renew the grace of baptism within us. Let us also pray that we will live more fervently the grace that was given to us in order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Let us humble ourselves, ask him for forgiveness and pray for a blessing over us. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God has called us to a new life in baptism. Let us praise him, worship him and adore him as we join in singing the Gloria. Almighty and ever living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children, by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him, he will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry out aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed 
he will not speak he will not break and a faintly burning wick he will not quench he will faithfully bring forth justice he will not grow faint or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his law i am the lord i have called you in righteousness i will take you by the hand and keep you i will give you a covenant for the people a light for the nations to open the eyes that are blind to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon from the prison those who sit in darkness the word of the lord thanks be to god A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to Titus, beloved, for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation for all the men. 
leading us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions, to live self-control, upright and godly lives in the present age, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of his glory, for our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and to purify for himself a people for his own possessions who are jealous for good works. But when the good, goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we might become Yes, according to the hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. John said, He who is mightier than I is coming. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Alleluia. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you o lord at that time as the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning john whether he might be the christ john answered them all saying i baptize you with water but he who is mightier than i is coming the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Now, when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you, I am well pleased. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. In the words of the Gospel, wipe away our sins. Brothers and sisters, a famous deep sea diver, Stig Severinsen, has set a world record in the world of deep sea diving with the power of one breath he is able to go down deep to the very depths of the ocean mind you with the power of just one breath he would hold his breath for 5 10 15 20 minutes under sea and he would go down setting a new world record exploring the ocean for not 100 meters deep down but 200 meters 
My dear brothers and sisters, if this gentleman by the name of Stig is able to explore the ocean with the power of one deep breath, how much does that one deep breath of being immersed into the waters of baptism power the life of a Christian? Dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of the baptism of our Lord. The word baptism means to be immersed, to be completely submerged, to be able to enter into a totally different world. When a poet or a writer uses his pen with one stroke, he enters into a different world of literature. A painter enters into a different world every time he picks up his painting brush and so on in the field of music, sports, art, finance, science, etc. Today we encounter a world that is waiting for us to explore and this world is open to us in the sacrament of baptism. Today we encounter Jesus in the Gospels standing for baptism at the river Jordan. This river Jordan is very, very significant in the Bible. It marks a border. It is as if you are making a new beginning. When the people of God entered, were about to enter into the promised land, they had to cross the river Jordan to mark a new beginning. And therefore, the choice of the river Jordan by John the Baptist and by Jesus is a very, very significant place in that moment in history. It marks a transition. For around 30 years, Jesus lived a hidden life with his home and family members, with Mary and Joseph, and that's the mystery that we have celebrated during the octave of Christmas, and the week after Epiphany, Jesus grew up with his parents and with good favor from God and the community. But today, he enters into a different world. He leaves his home and family. He leaves Nazareth. He leaves his father's house and he begins a great event in his life. This is marked by baptism. Baptism marks the beginning of the public ministry of Jesus. And it is not only a significant event marking the public ministry of Jesus, but it is the moment of truth that Jesus realizes that he is called for something special. When was the last time you realized that you were called for something special? If you have not realized that you are born for something special, that you are made for something wonderful. That means perhaps you need to hear once again the message of the Christian baptism. It is a message that Jesus heard in the Gospels after he was baptized and entered, emerged out of the waters of the river Jordan. He heard a voice telling him that he was loved, he was called and he was the beloved of the Father. And this is the voice that speaks also to each one of us. And each one of us must realize the message of the Christian baptism that you and I are marked for something special in life. And that is the meaning of the sacrament of baptism. God opens an entire world of spirituality in the form of the Christian faith in the Gospels, Jesus is seen praying. Baptism opens the faith life for the Christian community. Baptism is also a special moment for the community where we welcome a new member. And so, baptism as a sacrament is a foundation of all the other sacraments. What a privilege for us to be called by God for something special. The first reading from the prophet Isaiah 
is from a series of songs known as the songs of the suffering servant the first song that we have read in today's first reading from isaiah 42 speaks about the privilege of being called by god as god's servant the word servant is not an ordinary person a servant is god's right hand a servant is not a slave but according to the book of isaiah he holds a privileged position at the right hand of the king in fact he is the king's viceroy he is the king's general he is the king's son my dear brothers and sisters jesus realized that he was called to be this suffering servant the heavens opened signifying a new world that is open to you and me the world of god himself you and i can take part now in the very life of the blessed trinity my dear brothers and sisters the sacrament of baptism leaves a permanent mark is what the church teaches us what is this permanent mark that it leaves on every baptized person who is baptized in the church it leaves a mark that you are owned by god you belong to god god makes you his own and so you may have witnessed that at the baptism ceremony the sign of the cross is traced by the priest on the forehead of the child or the candidate receiving baptism it's a mark that you belong to god but what is most beautiful in the sacrament of baptism is that the white cloth and the candle that is an important part of the rite of baptism they symbolize your life and my life that we are called to live a life that is chaste pure and holy the light symbolizes that you and i are called to make a difference in the world and so like stig the world record holder who with one breath is able to enter into a different world of the ocean have you practiced the sacrament of baptism in your life well today is a day for us to live intensely amen having heard god's word let us also immerse our lives in the life of the trinity as we profess our creed together I believe in God the Father almighty creator of heaven and earth I believe in Jesus Christ his only son our lord he was conceived by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen prayer of the faithful on this feast of the baptism of the lord when christ was revealed as the beloved son we turn to god our father confident that he will hear and answer our prayers our response is lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord in your mercy hear our prayer for the church that all we have been baptized will be inspired by the holy spirit to give united witness to the lord we pray to the lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer let us pray for peace with justice throughout the world that all people will turn from hatred to love and from violence to peace we pray to the lord lord in your mercy hear our prayer let us pray for the true spirit of humility and evangelization that in our preaching prayer and example 
we may always point away from ourselves and towards the living Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick brethren, the lonely, the housebound, and the venerable that in the midst of their suffering, they will experience the loving arms of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pause and pray for our personal needs. Open the heavens, Almighty Father, and pour out your Spirit upon your people gathered here in your prayer. Renew in us the grace of our own baptism so that we may reflect ever more faithfully the image of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of, of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy church. church. Let us pray. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and to bring the good news to the poor. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, all the gracious of bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. Merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Baptism was the highlight of the life and ministry of Jesus. It is also a highlight of your life and the life of the community. You belong to the people of God. Therefore, let us celebrate the fact that we belong to God and God belongs to us as we pray the Lord's Prayer all together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. 
Look not upon our sins, but look at the faith of your church, and graciously grant your church peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us take a little time to wish one another at home a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on, on us. The Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold, this is Jesus who was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist to inaugurate his public ministry. He inaugurated his kingdom, his teachings, and all his work in the waters of the river Jordan. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us now make our spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listen, listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is the feast of the baptism of the Lord. Next Sunday, 16th January, is celebrated as Vocation Sunday. Bible Diary 2022 is available for Rs. 120 each in the parish office. Kindly contact the office during office hours. In view of the rising cases of the COVID Omicron variant, all masses have been discontinued from Saturday evening, 8th January 2022, until further notice. However, on Sundays, online Mass will be webcast from 7 a.m. onwards on our parish YouTube channel, and Holy Communion will be distributed between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the church. Only 20 persons for funerals and 50 persons for wedding mass are permitted in the church. Please maintain social distancing and COVID protocol. 
last Sunday's collection of 2nd January amounted to rupees 50,594. Midnight and New Year Day collection amounted to rupees 1,52,440. Thank you very much for your generosity. Marriage bands. Nelson Mendonca, bachelor son of Hyacinth and Yvonne, resident of Sunapur Lane, Kurla, wishes to marry Lynn Miranda, spinster daughter of Luke and Lydia, resident of Naugar, Bayandar East. Also, Steve D'Souza, bachelor son of Santana Avellino and Especiosa Donata, resident of A9 Sayanara, LBS Road, Kurla, wishes to marry Stacy Colasso, spinster daughter of late Peter Colasso and Bridget, resident of 316A Willington Terraces, Willington Street, Marine Lines. These bands have also been displayed on the church notice board, and if there is any objection for the same, kindly contact the parish priest or the parish office. End of announcements. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Wish you all a very happy feast of the baptism of our Lord. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. We now pray for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen.
God's word in its truth may be tried. 